FML? What is it? It's beer o'clock, and from California, we have from Stones Brewing, we have a can of their FML, which is Fear Movie Lions double IPA coming in at 8.5% ABV. Now, first things first, I would like to thank Kenton. Um, you might all know him all, uh, as KCJ Bomber, who's always on my chat and, and that, um, for sending me this in. Um, what a gentleman, what a scholar. Um, he, he, he surprised me with a little order from uh, Beer Hop. He's obviously he went on the Beer Hop website, ordered up some beers, sent them through to my house. I know nothing about it. Uh, Kenton, absolutely fantastic. And um, yeah, he sent me this glass as well, the Beer Hop glass and a range of beers. Absolutely fantastic, buddy. Um, th I can't thank you enough. Um, so, this is a double IPA. Now, they, they actually reckon this is an unfiltered double IPA. So, a little bit about um, the Stones Brewing Company. Um, <coughs> a little bit about the history. They started off in 1996, and it was a Steve Wagner, who was a bit of a, 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 a sort of beer lover, home brewer, Steve Wagner, and his mate, um, beer geek, rock and roll entrepreneur, Greg Cock. That's spelled K-O-C-H, for all those of you who are tittering on it, you know. Um, and they, they've gone from strength to strength, really. Um, seem like a couple of characters. If you if you look at their sort of timeline of, of the, the history, um, you know, you know, it's quite quite comical actually when you sort of you uh, you go down the down the history. Um, yeah so like i say they they brew a lot of different ales a lot of different you know from porters to russians imperial russian stouts um double ipas which um this believe it or not um i think this might have been brewed for their fourth anniversary i'm not sure um i could be wrong on that but um Sometimes things are a little bit uh, sketchy, if you know what I mean, on the on the old tinternet. Um, now they, they consider this to be a sort of a New England style double IPA, but I'm going to tell you what it's got a bit, a bit of a twist to it. So without further ado, let's crack it open, let's get it in a glass, and let's give it a review. Again, I've got to give credit to to the Stones beers in the cans. They pour absolutely fantastic. They really pour well into a glass. So, first impressions: it's it's a hazy golden amber with a lovely two finger, tight white frothy foam head. Let's get the aromas. Oh, it's juicy, fruity, hoppy, but there's a massive hit of pineapple there. It really has got a massive hit of pineapple. It's really, really juicy. It really is. It's a juice bomb explosion. So, without further ado, let's dive in and give it a try. So, cheers to Kenton. Whoa! Now, I picked this up last night. I had, it, I had one of these on the live stream last night. Um, and I picked it up. The 
first thing you notice about this beer is not the front end on the first ship you notice the back end where it's got this this west coast um bitter vibe right at the back end which i picked up last night on, on a live stream i had a few to drink as well and i said there's a creaminess to this beer but it's got a west coast kick and that's what it's got so this is this is a this is really a, like any like anyone knows this is a hazy juicy um east coast ipa but it's got the back end kick of a west coast ipa which is the bitterness see the difference between an east coast and a west coast is a west coast is always more bitter than an east coast um in in layman's terms this is masterful the way it's been brewed so effort, let's have a few more sips there is this this fresh juicy feel to this beer it's like they've used freshly squeezed fruit juice in it as opposed to sort of syrups and um, and uh, cordials and stuff like that which a lot of these um um these these brewers are using this is like it's got the real deal freshly squeezed you know you know you can imagine like someone standing over over the vat and squeezing the oranges in squeezing the lemons squeezing squeezing the grapefruits getting that 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 um that that pineapple and pounding it down to pulp and then and straining off the juice in into that fat you know it's got that sort of vibe to it um you know i actually get so i have a sip You know, it's soft, it's creamy, it's fruity, and then it gets malty. And when this maltiness hits, the sweet caramel malts hit, I get in this vibe of blueberry pancakes. I really am in this blueberry pancakes, like just in the middle, and then you're getting this bitterness come in. So there's like a it's a little bit of a blueberry hit in here just very subtle and it sort of hits just as you get these sweet caramel malts coming and the sweet caramel malts remind me of american pancakes um if there was a smokiness to this beer i could literally just, i could turn around and go this is hey this is a uh, this this is a uh, american pancakes with bacon and maple syrup you know what i mean um no, there's a there's a there's that blue there's a little blueberry hit there. Definitely. Two hops in this. Laurel and mosaic. For anyone who wants to know. Um I like this beer a lot. Look at the lacing on the glass. Um, it doesn't feel like you're drinking an 8.5 percent beer. It, it's well hidden. It, the alcohol content in this beer is well hidden, just like a just like a, a Belgium quadruple or a Belgium triple when they really hide that alcohol well. Um, this is a great beer. This is a great beer. I love it. I love it, and I'm glad, Kenton, you sent me a few cans of this, to be honest, um, which I can enjoy as well. Because it's sometimes hard when, when you review a beer 
you're reviewing it and I'm tr you know I'm trying to big this beer up and so so you can maybe make your own decision to buy it all right so sometimes I don't enjoy the beer as much when I'm reviewing a beer if you know what I mean um you know sometimes you just want to sit there and have a beer on your own maybe or in company and just sit there and enjoy the moment um I which I will do all right and with the other cans I've got some more cans of this that Kenton sent me and it'll be a pleasure to sit back and enjoy the moment of drinking what I consider to be a very very good beer with a twist to it an East Coast IPA with a twist to it I think that might be my uh, my thumbnail actually an East Coast IPA with a twist to it so look get yourself on beer hop And get yourself a can of this. Look, I've got a 10% off at uh, Beer Hop. Hop off 10. Use that in the checkout. Hop off 10. You'll get 10% off your order. So go on Beer Hop. Order some of this up. Order up some of these great American beers. You won't be disappointed. Um, try them. See what you think. So get yourself a can of this. Try it see what you think leave me a comment below let me know what you think of this beer let me know what you think of the review give me a big thumbs up if you like the review hit that little bell get notified every time i bring out a new one and of course subscribe to the channel and like i always say beer is the answer but i cannot remember the question thank you for watching good night tt says Never play with matches, fireworks, and always drink responsibly.